So configurations of the, of the perfect wall. And we're going to look at a non-flow through assembly first. Um, the reason is, is that this is the original history of the perfect wall or the wall from the 1950s, where we'd have masonry wall, you put your membrane on the outside of it, and that's your water control, your air control and your vapor control, and you put your thermal control on the outside of it, and you back ventilate and drain your, your, your cladding. Now, what's the problem with, 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 with brick? Well, when it rains on brick, it gets wet. And brick is a reservoir cladding. If, it, if the sun shines down on the brick in your air conditioning, you're going to drive the water vapor in. And it's going to blow through the insulation. It's going to hit the black line. And if that black line is vapor open, you're going to have yourself a problem. But if it's vapor closed, you basically condense it and drain it. And not a problem. So reservoir claddings are the issue. Um, and that's why the classic perfect wall was a vapor barrier non-flow through assembly. The idea is that it would dry from the vapor control layer inwards and it would dry from the vapor control layer outwards. So it would dry in both directions, but it would not be able to go through uh, the assembly. If you do not have a reservoir cladding, you can let things go in both directions. Whoa, 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 really? Really. Uh, so let's say that I wanted to use this wood fiber stuff. What, what are the odds that I would be talking about this wood fiber stuff board? Well, I have to deal with the reservoir cladding. And so I need to slow the flow down and we call it a vapor throttle. I don't need to have a vapor barrier, but I do need to slow things down, not stop them. So I slow them down so that I can have them dry in both directions. So let me be really, really clear about this. Um, it's not a completely flow through assembly. I'm slowing it down. Now, a really good vapor throttle is plywood or OSB. You know, plywood or OSB sheathing on the outside. You put whatever water control layer you want on it. You've got your vapor throttle. Done. Woohoo. Okay, um, why do we care? Well, in commercial construction, um, you might have heard of it, commercial construction, um, we have gypsum board on steel studs. Well, gypsum board is very vapor open. I can't put the timber you know, board over gypsum board behind a brick veneer reservoir cladding if I don't put a vapor throttle on the outside of the gypsum board. I don't need much of one. I could, you know, you know, five to ten perms. So Tyvek would be really bad because it's 30 perms. Whereas Weathermade Plus, which is five perms, would be fine, or a fluid applied that's five perms, just to slow it down. But if I replace this with a metal panel, we don't care. End of story. Um, this is a completely vapor flow through assembly. So let's say that I build with wood studs, what are the odds? And I fill it with a you know, timber bat. And I put my continuous rigid insulation on the outside that's also vapor open. And then I have a cladding that's not a reservoir. And I have a small gap behind it to back ventilate and drain it anyway, simply because I'm an incredibly cautious person. This is a true, completely flow through assembly. Ooh. Now, only if I had gypsum board <laughs> and a very vapor open, very vapor open water control air. But if I've got plywood or OSB, I've got a vapor throttle, right? Plywood is 10 to 15 perms. OSB is three to five, three to 10 perms. So it slows things down. And so all of the folks that think that they have a completely vapor flow through assembly really have a vapor throttle. The only time they're completely vapor open is if you have gypsum sheathing or you have no sheathing. Well, could I take a wood frame wall and just put the timber board over it? The answer is yeah. Well, what handles the water? Well, I'm going to have to seal the joints 
of the outside uh, board. I'll back ventilate and drain my cladding. And I've got myself a completely flow through assembly. Some of you who are old, like me, might remember the 1960s. I mean, it was a great decade of music and all kinds of other stuff. We had like Paul McCartney's band before Wings and you know, Elvis Presley, not Elvis Costello. But we had asphalt impregnated fiberboard. And so asphalt impregnated fiberboard um, was very vapor open. And believe it or not, um, was the precursor to this kind of the products we're talking about today. Um, you know, it's a half an inch thick. It's called uh, Black Joe or whatever it was, you know, the, the name in Ontario where I grew up with it. And in Minnesota, where it didn't rain very much, they just put vinyl siding over it or aluminum siding and even put building paper. But, you know, um, on the other side of the border, uh, where there are only two seasons this winter and last winter, that would be Canada, we had used fiberboard and building wrap, tar paper, basically, and cladding and fiberglass mat. And that was a completely flow through assembly, folks. Um, all we're doing now is, hey, we could just use the board, seal the joints, not need the building paper, but we still have to deal with structure. And so you could do that with rack, you know, the metal cross space, or what we used to do is we used to put plywood in the corners, right? So you'd have a two inch board product and um, in the field of the wall, and then a half an inch plywood or OSB at the corner and an inch and a half over that, and we're good to go. So you don't really need an air and a water, con a water control air behind the board product. If you are, here are the weasel words, if you're low rise, two stories or less, and you're not on the coast of Key West with rain and hurricanes, all right, or in Seattle or in Maine, you're going to need more robust water control. What's your guess? Well, uh, 20 to 30 inches of rainfall a year is probably is where I would limit that technology, just to give you a... And I'm pulling this out of uh, my uh, nether regions based on gray hair uh, and seeing problems. But this is a true flow-through assembly.